Hey guys, welcome back. 15 weeks, really happy to be in the second trimester. Baby is the size of an apple, growing really nicely. Belly is definitely, definitely showing. It's kind of crazy that um, 15 weeks pregnancy is really flying by. Honestly, if it wasn't for these weekly updates, I'd probably be like totally lost how pregnant I am. Let me know in the comments, how many weeks pregnant are you? Where you are on your TTC journey? I would love to find out. Please leave me a comment below. Interesting thing is that I realized that I've been having Braxton Hicks. Now, I actually think that I've been having them for several weeks, but I just didn't recognize them. I just felt like, okay, maybe I've overeaten or something like that. Like my stomach felt very, very tight, kind of up above. But now I know that this is definitely Braxton Hicks. Every single night, I feel really, really stiff belly, kind of like my uterus is contracting. So I've been apparently having Braxton Hicks. This is the earliest I've ever felt them in any of my pregnancies, which is really, really crazy because it's so early on. Now I definitely have way more energy than I did before and I've actually even gotten some like minor decluttering done. I do need to like carve out some like decent time to go through everything and declutter everything but so far I've just been kind of decluttering a little bit as I go about like organizing my house. Have you ever like looked at your shelves and just felt like so overwhelmed that you don't even know where to begin? That's kind of how I feel about certain places in my house and sometimes it just helps me to like pick up Way at like small little shelves at a time we don't really have a lot of shelving like we only have like one shelving unit it's like half full of books and then another shelf that's like also full of books basically so there's not really a lot of like storage areas in my house that's why when I declutter I actually fo focus a lot on the storage spaces or kind of spaces where you like hide things away a little bit uh, because that's where like everything goes like nothing is kind of inside like our walls are very very minimally decorated <laughs> there's very little stuff like out kind of in the open other than on this one uh, shelving unit that uh, you guys will see definitely having a lot more energy helps with what like I have to do day to day just to like keep up with my house and keep up with my kids and just have everything running smoothly it's been uh, really nice to finally be in the second trimester and finally be feeling really good now my milk supply since I'm still nursing my two-year-old boy my youngest one so my milk supply has definitely decreased and uh, he is still nursing through the night but I noticed that during the day that there's like very very little of anything going on in terms of like my milk so like he's able to get enough during the night at night it seems to be like abundant but during the day there's very very little so I'm trying to transition him more to like just regular organic cow's milk hopefully it keeps going in that direction to where eventually he'll stop nursing completely at least that's the goal that's what we're kind of working towards and next week i actually have to go back for my blood draw for the second trimester screening where they screen for a bunch of stuff so that's gonna be happening i think it's gonna be like a quick nurse's appointment so that should be like quick and easy I'm not really meeting with the doctor although i do enjoy my prenatal visits when i'm pregnant <laughs> nothing else that i have to really do for a long time second trimester is really chill it's like one appointment per month I think and then there's like a few scans but yeah there's not really too much that I have to do so I can really really focus on my house and my kids and my work and all this kind of stuff <laughs> best news of this whole week is that I have not felt nausea at all like not once it's crazy because first trimester was so so rough and I was so nauseous and I was vomiting for like days and days and days barely able to like keep anything down even water there were a few days where like it was really bad like I felt like I was like getting dehydrated because because I was throwing up so much but this week it's been great like nothing Ukrainian food cravings are gone I have been really craving kind of oysters which is interesting 
like raw oysters and I know you can't have them in pregnancy but that's what I've been like really really wanting so I'm thinking like I'm probably missing some kind of a, a mineral that like oysters have so I need to look into that for sure so if you guys are new to my channel please be sure to subscribe I'm doing weekly pregnancy updates there's tons of pregnancy content coming up and already out I will also be posting a lot of decluttering and organizing the vlogs I think I'll make them vlogs so be sure to subscribe click the bell notification to see those videos and also there's tons of and tons of stuff already on my channel so please be sure to check some of that out see some of my frugal living tips minimalism decluttering those are like some of my favorite ones to make um, very much into frugal living frugal pregnancy and frugal like baby years so there's uh, lots of tips on that on my channel so please be sure to check them out give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and also leave me a comment how you guys are feeling where you are in your TTC journey I would love to find out and I'll see you guys in my next one bye yeah this is one of the fewer places in our house where kind of everything just gets put projects some kids activities are up there in this bin this is my filming stuff that i also need to find a better home for like it's barely fitting into this basket anymore some of it is here like it just needs it just needs to be fixed It's not for me to say